ignition. Lift off. Roaring off one of the most historic launch pads at the Kennedy Space Center, NASA's very future in the hands of SpaceX. Roger, one alpha. Godspeed, Resilience. The Falcon 9 rocket and a spaceship dubbed Resilience accelerating into the night sky and making a beeline up the East Coast in a series of decimal precise maneuvers for which SpaceX has become notorious. Stage separation confirmed. And you see that stage separation has confirmed. There goes that MVAC engine. Stage two, crew one is now on their way to the International Space Station. Guiding the first stage rocket booster onto a ship in the Atlantic Ocean so it can be used again. And I believe we've had a touchdown on the drone ship. Inside their spaceship, four astronauts, Commander Mike Hopkins, pilot Victor Glover, mission specialist Shannon Walker, and Japanese astronaut Soichi Noguchi, headed for a six-month mission on the space station. That was one heck of a ride. There was a lot of smiles. But just hours after the adrenaline surge of launch, all four were told to get some rest. Just part of the job. These folks know what they're doing. They're very experienced. They know that they got to get the rest. All four COVID-free after quarantining for two weeks. Though SpaceX founder Elon Musk was not allowed at the Space Center after he contracted COVID. NASA is now relying on SpaceX and eventually Boeing to safeguard the lives of American astronauts headed for the space station, while NASA focuses on returning to the moon and one day Mars. The stakes could not be higher. Make no mistake, when you're flying into space, it is always, um, there's always risk and we will always be diligent. This morning, after yet another engineering tour to force, this crew of four is headed for a late night rendezvous with the space station. Yeah, about 11.15 p.m. or so East Coast time. We did have a little bit of a concern uh, just after about two hours after launch when NASA tweeted out that they were having a problem with the heaters on board inside that spaceship. The propellants were apparently not working properly, not heating things up properly. NASA tweeted out the fact that they're troubleshooting propellant heaters to heat the fuel to heat rather the fuel uh, on board the uh, Crew Dragon. Uh, the temperatures remain stable, crew remain safe, and then they, they troubleshot the whole thing and in fact, they found out that they were functioning properly. No issue. So that that's good news. You wouldn't want to be up there freezing with, without your heaters working, but everything working pretty well right now, Hoda. But there was one other unexpected thing, Tom, that we've been hearing about, an extra passenger who snuck on board. Yoda. <laughs> uh, baby Yoda uh, made a made a trip. Uh, you know, NASA has this custom right now, or the, the astronauts do, where they bring up some sort of a stuffed animal as their zero-G indicator. So Baby Yoda from uh, from the Disney movie was was the uh, was the choice for these astronauts. You know, back in the in the summer, the two astronauts on the test mission they did the same thing. They brought up a a dinosaur that their kids loved. So Baby Yoda now is the fifth member of this crew uh, headed for the space station. Tom doesn't sound all that familiar with I'm... Baby Yoda. He's actually the <laughs> child, and it's from a show called The Mandalorian, which is excellent, and I highly See, recommend I to you. Say it. I didn't say it because I thought I'm going to butcher it. I'm just going to say Baby Yoda, <laughs> yeah. and, the, and then the moms will pick it up. Uh, yeah. Exactly, but right. you got to check it out, Tom. It's totally right up your you alley, know. my friend. Oh, Rooker's head is exploding. Yeah. Right. I know. Yeah. He's super excited. It. All right.